Good morning, everybody. I am actually in Oklahoma right now. It's a little bit windy. I kind of went to this little point. It's actually beautiful out here. Got the lake. We are, we're on Grand Lake right now. I'm with my dad, my brother, his buddy, a few other guys, and uh, we are paddle fishing, snagging for paddle fish. Something I haven't not done in three years. If you guys are OG Flare Fishing fan members, you have seen these videos back from like 2014, 2015. I made videos out here and uh, we're finally back. I'm back from Florida. I didn't do any filming down there. Took three to four days off of, uh, of YouTube, much needed. And uh, yeah, now I'm back. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go fishing. And uh, I, I, I got the itch to catch a fish. If you guys don't know what paddle fishing is, it's like, you, you don't catch them. You don't, they don't like bite lures or anything. They're, they're filter feeders. So you have to snag them with, with treble hooks. Uh, but it's a super common thing to down here. What they do is they harvest them for their caviar. So it's not like it's like a frowned upon thing. They're not going to waste. We're actually eating these fish and, and it's actually just part of like the whole conservation process of taking these guys out. So that's pretty much the, uh, the plan today. It's pretty windy, but I'm, I'm excited. I have not done this, like I said, in a few years. It's gonna be good. These things can get over hundred pounds, by the way. So you guys are in for a treat. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. This is what we're using. Looks like a ocean reel and a, uh, how long is this rod? Seven foot, seven foot X heavy. And then we have this guy here. That's the hook. That's the hook we're saying. And they're actually barbless because we will be releasing the fish today because today is a catch and release day only on, I think Fridays and Mondays are catch and release. So barbless hooks and one pound weight. What you do, throw it out, you drop it all the way down to the bottom. There you go, hit the bottom, then you just let, uh, let another 30, 40 yards out. Let it kind of go, keep the boat speed around two, three miles an hour, click it, and then you just sweep like this, and you just, hopefully at some point, we'll run into one of these guys. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. I'm hooked up, I'm hooked up. Yep, that's a fish, that's a fish. Oh, there we go. Feels feels decent. Feels decent. There we go. All right, hooked up the first one. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel giant, but it could just be coming at me. There we go. Come on. What do we got? I don't know if it's that big. What is this? What is this thing? If, I, if it's a, if it's a stinking catfish, I swear. Paddlefish, buddy. <laughs> oh, look wow, at that. Look how ugly these things are. Oh, that's the first paddlefish. Not even close to what we're after. Look at this. Look how crazy these things look, though. Like, just, just absolutely. We, they're straight up dinosaurs. Look like straight up dinosaurs. All right, see, you, buddy. There's one, got it. Yeah, that's a, that's a big, if that's a fish, that's a bigger fish. Woo! That feels a lot bigger. That feels a lot bigger. Yeah, that's a better fish for sure. Whew, finally. Woo! Come on, baby, be a big one. Be a big one. We need a big one right now. Come on, come on. What do we got? It's better. Like I said, I think it's bigger than the last one, but it's decent. Okay. That's decent. That's decent. There we go. That's a little bit, a little bit more like it. Oh, there you go. That's All first right. one. That's more what we're after. Not a giant, but decent. Back in the water. There's one. Small, something small. Oh, okay. Nope, he just didn't know he was hooked. Okay, yeah, he's not small. Definitely not small. Definitely not small. He just did not know he was hooked. Okay, this guy's fighting a lot different than the other ones. Oh, okay, okay, oh, wow. okay, yep, yeah, he, yep. Nope, he's, he's, that's a decent one. Man, he took off, dude. 
Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, this guy doesn't, I don't know if he knows he's hooked or what's, what's going on here, but I think he's actually a big one. Oh, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. There we go. Okay, okay. Yep, come here. Oh, he's all sorts of wrapped. He's not coming undone. Not a chance. That's a nice one. That's a better one. He's doing a gator roll. That's a better one. Yeah, I could tell you he's rolling. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, buddy. Easy, easy. Oh, there we go. What do you think this one weighs? It's probably about the same 40. Yeah. So that's probably about the one that I got yesterday. It's pretty similar. That's a that's a big fish. <laughs> Woo! Ah. Oh. Yeah, those are keepers. Today, unfortunately, we can't keep them, <laughs> but uh, we're catching fish. That was awesome. That's a look at all those marks. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, I am exhausted. That's three three paddle fish in a matter of like 30 minutes for me. I'm done. I'm I'm driving the boat now. <laughs> I'm done fishing for a while. I'm exhausted. That's that's a big fish. Unfortunately, like I said, we can't keep them today, but uh, that was that was an epic fight. That might be a fish. That looks like a fish. The big one? Feels like it. <laughs> Who's winning? You or the fish? <laughs> it's coming. He thought it was a snag. Now it's not. It usually means it's a good fish. Start taking mine right off the bat. And snags have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. That's, that's a good one. There you go. Cinch it down. There. There we go. Finally. There you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> That's a big fish too. That's a big fish. That's a big one. Oh gosh, this is a big fish. Right on the back of my sweep. Right on the back of my sweep. Okay. All right. This is a big fish. This is, I'm convinced this is a big fish. Yep, it's a big one. Come on, buddy. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh here we go. Finally. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a big fish. Feels a lot bigger than the other ones. Woo! Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's got. A, he's wrapped all around the bill. I could feel him. Get that could... noose open quick. Oh yeah, he's he's wrapped all around his bill. That's a decent one. He has a big tail. He's keeping that tail away. Yep, yep, yep. He didn't like he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Woo! Oh man, come on, come on, buddy. Oh, finally. Gotta show me something. Yeah. I don't think he's coming undone. That's a good one though. Probably go 40 plus, 45 plus. There you go. There you go. There you go. Woo! There we go. That's free. That's free. Yeah. Oh, and I am uh, not fishing anymore. That was kind of a weird transition. This video, I did a very bad job. I did a poor job of like of the actual like storytelling side of it like I just went fishing which was is hard not to when you got those big of fish down there lurking it's hard for me to like take a second and pick up the camera and talk to you guys and explain what's going on so I, I tried to do it as much as I could but I understand this video was probably not quite like all my other ones where I'm like talking a whole lot and, and telling telling the story of what's going on it was literally just me catching fish with with my dad my brother and his buddy Ryan and and that was pretty much pretty much what happened uh, in today's video. But I hope you guys did enjoy. It was a great time. The fishing was not up to where I we were all hoping. Normally we catch like half a dozen of these dudes a day. 
And on this trip, we only caught like one or two. And then on the day that we actually caught the two, I caught the two fish, I think, was the day we had to release them, which you have to release them on Fridays and Mondays. So uh, I was only able, able to keep one fish, and then Ryan was able to keep his his fish as well. But overall, it was a good experience. As you can tell, I am in the Guggen Squad house, the MTB crib. That's where I'm at right now because I was all the way down in Tulsa, Oklahoma from Omaha, Nebraska. And I figured, why not come down to Texas for the next couple weeks and try to catch some bedding fish i talked to lunkers tv today i know john and Perrick, those guys they're over in bali right now and uh and so it's me justin lfg and lunkers tv and so us three will be fishing this week i think rob and i are gonna be fishing tomorrow together and then he's going down to florida i believe with hector so then it might just be lfg and i or just may maybe just me by myself but i plan on staying in texas until probably the end of april or so go home for easter spend some time with the fam but that's pretty much what's going on right now i know i didn't like vlog at all the process of like turning the fish in or whatever but essentially the fish we were catching you turn into these dudes who clean them for you and then just give you the package back and they take the caviar and then they sell the caviar and that's how this whole thing works but the the meat itself is awesome i love absolutely love eating paddlefish it's one of my favorite fish of all time to eat and uh and so yeah it was something a little bit different this video i know it's a little bit different now i know some of you guys are probably pissed you're like flair that's that's so mean and cruel, you know, you're you're snagging them with this hook, and then and then you're putting them back in the water. I know, the, the catch and release day is not my favorite day, but I didn't make the rules, okay? I didn't make the rules on catch and release, okay? Back when I, back 2013, that picture I showed at the beginning, you could catch them every single day and keep them every single day, but since then, they've cut it back a little bit. So, yes, I am not a huge fan of snagging these fish and then releasing them, but again, I don't make the rules on which days you can and can't release. We were just there for certain amount of time to go catch fish and that's essentially what we did but it's good because i got one one keeper so i will have some meat in the old freezer here coming up soon but this is gary gary's hanging out gary has no food he has no food at all so soon you guys will see me feed him i'm actually gonna leave after i'm done editing this video i'm gonna go get him some food and do a feeding video because he has no food. I have no idea how long he hasn't had food, but he this is the first time I've ever seen him without food, so he's probably going to eat a lot of it. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to quit talking. If you guys enjoyed the paddle fishing snagging video, make sure you leave a like and drop a comment down below because I can go back next year. This is like a once-a-year deal, but next year maybe I'll bring the squad up. I, I think the squad will have a great time doing that. It's like it's kind of like sturgeon fishing. They're giant prehistoric fish. Uh, you, I mean, obviously you snag them versus catching them, but it, it's still a, good, still a good time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!